Hi everyone, my name is Olga Kara and I'm a program leader for MRS in Social Research. In this short presentation, I would like to introduce the program, explain its structure, explain how we do our teaching, explain assessment, and look at each module in some more detail. So if you're considering applying for this program, there are some questions you could ask yourself. So are you interested in studying the social world around you? Do you want to gain a range of research skills to analyze and communicate complex ideas? Maybe you want to join a vibrant and diverse social research community where you can openly and safely discuss your ideas. Are you interested in working on an independent research project, but with support from experienced supervisors that can guide you? Do you want to lay the foundation for further work at the PhD level? Or maybe you require social research skills for your work in a professional capacity. At the same time, do you have busy family life or busy work life, but you still want to study? So if you answered yes to most of these questions, then MRS Social Research Program is for you. Teaching on the program is, will depend on the pathway you choose. So the program can be taken entirely at a distance, so fully online, or as a combination of online activities, but also some face-to-face -face sessions. So you need to be on campus fortnightly for two-hour seminars. Students will be also required to register their preferred mode of attendance at the very start of the program. So we'll know rough numbers for each pathway and we can create this smaller communities, smaller groups of students who then will work together. Uh, modules are also taught on a 10 weeks basis per term, meaning that if you have to come on campus, you will need to come five times for each module. If you're doing online activities, again, you will have five full group online sessions. And then other activities will be asynchronous, meaning that you can do them in your own time at your own pace, with some specific, more, more specific deadlines uh, for, for each activity. So for assessments, students will have to participate in at least 80% of online activities to pass the module. The, uh, Attendance will not be graded, but you need to achieve those 80% to pass module. And assessments will be through the equivalent of a 5,000 word assignment for each module and a 20,000 word dissertation. Assignments for each module will be slightly different. Each will consist of a combination of a longer piece of work. Uh, so for some modules, it will be a research proposal. For some, it will be a reflection. Uh, for some others, it could be an essay. And also, in addition, you will have to submit a module portfolio, which will include your online posts, uh, some short reports, again, maybe shorter reflections, and some presentations. On our program, we have four modules. All modules are compulsory. And then there is also dissertation. Module one is understanding research practice, and that runs in autumn term. Module two is undertaking and disseminating research, which runs in spring term. Module three, analyzing research data, also runs in spring term in parallel with module two. Module four, which runs in summer term, allows you for more advanced development of your skills, and it's called advanced research theory and practice. Dissertation uh, runs through two terms, so it starts in spring term in January, and the submission is usually in September, early September. Part-time students will be expected to take two modules in year one, and two modules and the dissertation in year two. So just a little bit about each module. Understanding research practice is our first module, and it is a real an introduction to what is social research. We'll be discussing such questions as, what is our reality? How do we know what we know? So they're quite philosophical questions. And what are the ways of knowing? And which ways are valid in social research? But also we'll discuss how social research relates to other forms of knowledge. 
and how those other forms of knowledge can be used in social research. We will look at different contexts in which social research is undertaken and also how social research influences our society and how we can use social research to develop our society to help different solving different issues in our society. Uh, we we'll also start looking at formulation of research questions and writing literature reviews. We'll look at how to search for literature, how to organize literature, and also how to critique research papers, how to engage with existing literature. And we'll also look at design principles of social research in a broader way and the various forms social research can take. So the next module is undertaking and disseminating research. This module is more specific, so it looks at the process of knowledge construction through using a specific method. And there will be a range of methods we'll be looking at. Uh, it will include interviews, observations, documentary and survey methods. We'll also look at the relationship between research design and research practice. So it will be the relationship between some more philosophical and broader theoretical ideas about how you design your research, but also some very practical aspects of research. How do you collect your data? How do you arrange things for your research? What are some practical limitations uh, for social research? We'll also look at process of research dissemination because it will link to the methods of your data collection and generation. And also we'll consider different ways how research can be written and presented. So the next module is analyzing research data. This module will be looking at the phase when you have collected your data. So what do you do with it? So depending on what types of data you have collected. So it's, is it something numerical or is it more surrounding text? Uh, so we'll consider different approaches looking at qualitative approaches of analysis and quantitative. We'll look at different types of software you could use for data analysis, such as in vivo and SPSS. We will look at different techniques you can use. So for qualitative data, we could use, you could use coding, grounded theory, thematic analysis, narrative and discourse analysis. For the quantitative research, We'll be looking at summarizing data, different levels of measurements, confidence intervals, normal distribution, and how you can compare different populations and groups. And we'll also look at the formulation of hypothesis and hypothesis testing as a part of quantitative data analysis. So the final module is advanced research theory and practice, and it will consider role of theory in social research and also how the theory links to your research design and your data analysis techniques. So we'll look at models of theory development, the relationship between theory and data, and critical approaches to theory. During this module, you, will, you can develop your skills and your knowledge in two areas in more depth, and you can choose from Discourse analysis, narrative research, ethnography, critical inquiry, online research, uh, mixed methods, video analysis. So these are just some ideas which you could consider for, for your choices. Uh, theory will be a prominent aspect of your engagement with this area. So it's not just developing your skills in data collection analysis using specific methods, but it's really putting theory what it, which is behind those methods, together with methods, to produce robust and reliable, trustworthy research. Dissertation, which runs across two terms, but actually, if, when I think about it, it, it runs throughout the whole program as it draws on the skills we will have developed in all four program modules, and there are elements in, elements in each module which will help you with your dissertation. This module is a fundamental core element of the program. It is MRS in social research, so research is central for, for this program. And it is an opportunity for you to try out your skills uh, and develop an independent piece of research. So it's a 20,000 word dissertation, so it's, it is relatively long. 
and each student will be assigned a destination supervisor. And in consultation with the supervisor, you can then develop your research question further. You can clarify your research question and also discuss what would be appropriate in scope and complexity for a 20,000 word dissertation. I would like to give you some examples of previous dissertations on a similar program we are running. And you can see it's, there is quite a range of different geographical areas. There is a range of different topics. You have stories and sense making, looking at risk managers and local government in the UK. Uh, we also had somebody looking at institutional delivery and what determines institutional delivery among women in Nigeria. Uh, we had a student looking at climate change and the educational role of digital games in America um, and how playing digital games can influence, uh, could influence attitudes towards climate change. Somebody looked at aggression, violence and masculine destructions on adolescent males in Italy. We had acculturation strategies and food ways in British Jewish women in Israel. We had the effect of trauma-informed therapy on male indigenous Australian offenders. We had a student looking at race ethnicity in Barbie or the visual media in Canada, English language teaching in Japan, and early childhood education in disadvantaged rural communities in Tanzania. So there is quite, quite a range of different things you can do. And as I said, each of the modules hopefully will help you to develop your independent research project and your supervisors will, will support you further with uh, refocusing your research questions, choosing appropriate methodology to carry out successful research project and then write it up as a dissertation as, as your main final assignment for the program. Thank you very much and hopefully you gain some information about the program and I would be happy answering questions, so you can email me and with, with your specific questions, so we'll try answering them. Thank you.